I just saw the new Mission Impossible movie called Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. I'll talk about a specific scene that blew me away and I'll talk about that scene in detail. So if you haven't watched this movie yet, please go watch it and then watch this video. Anyway, that movie had some spectacular over-the-top visuals and the best part about this kind of over-the-top scenes is all of those things are done by either Tom Cruise or the real stunt guys, not CGI like every other big budget movie does. There are some real big action set pieces in this movie. I know most people went to this movie to watch Tom Cruise's motorbike jump stunt. It was a really good one. That's the coolest thing ever! The car chase scene was pretty well done too. The train falling sequence was also very good. But my most favorite scene from that movie is neither of those visually appealing over the top action sequences. I absolutely love the airport scene from this movie. I believe the airport scene has the most intensity out of all those other scenes and I felt tremendously thrilled while watching this one, even more than the motorbike jump or the car chase scene. I'll explain what is so special about this scene. <laughs> Explain. This scene starts with the search for the other half key. A very good thing about this scene is there are lots of agenda for lots of different people in it. Ethan Hunt is at the airport to get the other half of the key. A professional thief Grace is also here to get the key to sell to a buyer. There is a team of agents of the intelligence community present at the airport to catch Ethan Hunt. There is also a mysterious assassin who is doing her job silently. Ethan's IMF colleagues Luther and Benzi are also helping Ethan to locate the thief and avoid the community agents. Later Benji takes a brave attempt to defeat a nuclear bomb. This scene has so many elements where so many things are going on. Luther alerts Ethan's identity in the camera, Grace steals the half key, and then Ethan steals it again. Finding out the buyer is dead by an assassin, the community agents are getting fooled twice and choosing to fall out and search for Ethan in old school style. Benji defusing a nuclear bomb, agents chasing Ethan after finding him out. There are so many great moments in one single scene. If it was not handled with care, the whole scene could have been a mess. But with the careful writing of Christopher McQuarrie and Eric Jenderson, this scene worked really well. This scene starts after the title credit of the movie and has a length of 20 minutes. And to me, this is the best 20 minutes of the whole movie. This scene shows if you have good writing in an action movie, then a scene without any action can have more effect than a big action set piece. To me, this airport scene was more intense than Tom Cruise's jump scene or the train falling down sequence, because this scene had some Great writing. Don't get me wrong, Rogue Nation and Fallout were great movies. Both of these movies had amazing action sequences which were done with great effort and those action set pieces were phenomenal too. Like the bathroom fight scene in Fallout was unbelievable. But Ghost Protocol had beautifully written scenes like infiltrating the Kremlin for information on Cobalt. This scene was so well written and way too intense. This kind of well written scene can have more intensity than an over the top action sequence. Every Hollywood big budget movie has some action set pieces that they promote way too much in every promotional opportunity they get. Every Mission Impossible movie also has this kind of one scene that they promote way too much in the promotional journey. Like the Bruce Khalifa scene in Ghost Protocol. <laughs> plane scene in the Rogue Nation or this motorbike jump in Dead Reckoning. But the problem is, I have seen each of these scenes way too many times before the release of the movie. But the well written scenes are not in any promotional content at all. That is a big plus point for people like me who love oil written intense scenes. Let me know in the comment what is your most favorite scene from Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. If you like this video then subscribe to my channel and leave a like to this video. Until next time, tata.